It is day four of my 30-day challenge of living full-time in a tiling window manager and only using terminal-based applications where possible. What am I liking about it? What am I not liking about it? And some cool apps that I found along the way to help make my life in the terminal just a little bit brighter. Okay guys, so day four of my 30 day challenge and I wanted to share with you some very cool applications that I found. Um, I asked you guys for help on terminal based applications. I asked you guys that are tiling window manager fans and love the terminal and use a lot of command line tools and in curses tools, uh, you know, for your help, your suggestions for terminal based applications. And you guys really came through. I got a lot of email. So I really want to thank all of you guys that emailed me at Derek, D E R E K, Derek at distrotube.com. Again, feel free to email me anytime uh, for anything related to this channel or not related to this channel. Uh, really you guys i love hearing from you and some of you guys really made some good suggestions for example just to pick an email here peter beck peter beck wrote a very long email with a listing all of his terminal based uh, and command line applications that he uses on a daily basis for a variety of uh, of things and this kind of stuff here has really helped me. It g gave me a lot of stuff to go on when I was searching for command line and in curses applications. For example, that Peter Beck email was the one that uh, told me about this application right here. This is Googler. Googler is a Google search application from the terminal. I'm actually going to close the program for now. Let me show you the Googler GitHub page. Okay, so this is the Googler GitHub page. Just go to github.com and search for Googler. And reading a bit about it, Googler is a power tool to Google Web and News and Google Site Search from the command line. It shows the title, URL, and abstract for each result, which can be directly opened in a browser from the terminal. So you choose a link and it's going to open in a browser. For those of you that have your default browser set to something like Firefox or Chromium, it'll open in your standard GUI browser. For me, because I'm, I'm doing this in the terminal, I'm going to use a terminal-based browser, Links, in my case. Um, reading a little more um, from a package manager, you can install, looks like Googler, I installed from the AUR, the Arch User Repository. Uh, Debian has it in the repos. Fedora has it. FreeBSD has it. Ubuntu has it. Heck, Void Linux even has it in their repos. So Googler apparently is a, a very common program, even though I had actually never heard of it until that uh, that email I got from Peter. The Googler configuration file. There is no configuration file to Googler. Um, Googler basically has a bunch of uh, flags you can give it from the command line. For example... This command here, let me copy this. Googler dash dash colors B E C X X P. That's my color scheme. I just set a color scheme for it and then I'm going to give it something to search for. How about distro tube? And this is going to tell Googler to go out there, search for the keyword distro tube and to use this color scheme that I told it, B E C X X P. What is that? It basically set these colors here, my X colors, uh, and uh, I, I chose these colors. But if I didn't didn't choose those colors, quit, and just went with how it would normally do this. Googler Distro Two. This is the default colors. You see, not as much color here. Still the solarized color scheme, but giving it this, this flag here, you know, a little bit brighter. I like these colors a little better, but you can do a, a lot of stuff with Googler. Um, for those of you that don't want to add all these flags, like if I'm going to use that color scheme for every time I use Googler, what you would do is you would add an alias to your bash RC file or ZSH RC file. Uh, and that, that's pretty much it with Googler. It's actually a very, very powerful command line utility. Here's the color flags. 
There's a bunch of flags you can give it, like this command here, Googler. Well, I'll type this in the, the terminal. Googler space dash n 15. That is number 15. So 15 results. Give me 15 results. Dash s3, which is starting from the third result. Dash t m14. What is that? The last 14 months. Okay. Search imdb.com. And the keywords we're looking for are Jungle Book. <laughs> so that is a very, very specific search result we're looking for. But you can do it all from this tiny little program called Googler. Again, it's found on Git GitHub, but it's in everybody's repos. Just sudo apt install Googler or sudo pacman dash capital S Googler. Actually, the AUR. You guys need to go to the AUR and arch for Googler. So that is my Google utility. Uh, another really, really neat uh, terminal-based Twitter client that I found was Rainbow Stream. Let's take a look at it. So Rainbow Stream also has a GitHub page. Rainbow Stream is a terminal-based Twitter client. Real-time tweet stream, compose, search, favorite, and much more fun directly from the terminal. Uh, yeah. With that said, all right, this package is built on the Python Twitter tools and the Twitter API. It runs on Python 2.7 and 3.x. So it's a Python app. And with Python apps, usually the best way to install is using pip. And that's what they recommend. Sudo pip install rainbow stream. And that's what I did. And uh, you get rainbow stream installed. And basically... Once you set your uh, login name, your password, you know, for Twitter, you put that in a config file. It goes to your Twitter page. The, in my case, the DistroTube Twitter page. And I can type H here for help because I have no idea what the commands are. Uh, again, I just installed this yesterday and I haven't played around with it much. So H gives you help. But really, this is just a help page that really gives you links to other help commands. For example, what I really need to type is H discover. And that tells me that typing the word trend shows the trend page. Typing the word home takes me to my DistroTube home Twitter page. Typing uh, mentions, for example, anybody mentioned me lately? Yeah, in the last couple of days, Alan Rocco has mentioned me a couple of times. Appreciate that, Alan. Uh, what else do we have here? Me. This is my latest tweets. Okay, back to my DistroTube home. Yep. And I'm sure there's much more in the help that we could uh, we could do. For example, help messages would probably give me the commands to uh, to message. Inbox will show my inbox messages. Uh, trash will show the trash. All right, so that is Rainbow Stream. Really, really cool Twitter client. Why did I go with Rainbow Stream? Again, uh, you guys recommended me some really cool Twitter clients. A lot of you recommended me one called Terses. I could not get Terses to work. Uh, it was in the Arch repos or the AUR, I forget which one. Anyway, it installed correctly, installed fine, but when I go to run it, didn't work. Threw up a bunch of errors. I think it was uh, Python related errors. And I couldn't, I spent about a half hour trying to figure out what was the problem with it. Could not get it to work. And it doesn't appear that Terses is under development anymore. So I went to GitHub and started looking around for other Twitter clients, terminal based Twitter clients. Found two or three others that were very similar to Terses and that they're no longer under development. So I didn't even want to fool with those. Rainbow Stream looks like it has some activity, some development behind it. And it works. I installed it. It worked out of the box, you know, once you uh, set up a very simple config file, basically giving your login and your Twitter password, you're good to go. Launch it straight away and you get that command prompt, you type H for help and it gives you all the commands you need. So Rainbow Stream, highly recommended, even after one day of use. I'm really liking Rainbow Stream. Uh, what else have I found? Uh, Hacks or News. Hacks or News. What is Hacks or News? Well, let me open up the Firefox web browser. Hacker News. For those of you that know what Hacker News is, this is Hacker News. For those of you that don't know what Hacker News is, this is Hacker News. <laughs> Hacker News is basically just a web page that lists nothing but 
tech related and hacker news related, computer related news articles from around the web. Uh, basically, it is just a news aggregator. It's a collection of all these tech related news articles. Very cool website. A lot of you guys probably are familiar with it. Hacksaw News. Well, let me go back to Firefox again. I actually should have just left it open. Hacksaw News is a command line utility to view hacker news. You see this here, the top 20 hacker news sites here. If I go back to the hacker news page, it's the exact same 20 here, right? So Hacksaw News is just a way to view hacker news. And from here, uh, like I could do HN top 10, if I only wanted to show the top 10 sites, I could do HN view, and then one of these 10 articles I wanted to view, say I wanted to view the first article, HN view one. And it actually lets you view the article in the terminal. And I don't think this is the Lynx web browser, even though I have the Lynx web browser set up, because it's not... I mean, I'm scrolling, and I'm actually scrolling line by line. The Lynx web browser goes link to link to link, you know. It doesn't let you do anything in the plain text. So I don't think this is the Lynx web browser. I think this is actually built in to Hacksaw News. I could be wrong about that. Either way, very cool. Uh, you can view Hacker News without ever leaving the terminal. So... Three very, very cool programs I discovered today. Again, Googler, Hacksaw News, and then Rainbow Stream, my Twitter client. Really, really enjoying uh, my time in Qtile, the Tiling Window Manager Qtile so far, and trying to use command line and in curses based applications, terminal based applications where possible. Day four in, and I'm loving it. Before I go, I do want to do a shout out, a special thanks to all my patrons, Ron, Brian, Carl, Greg, Carlos, Rob, Mark, Christian, Benjamin, Stephen, AK, Marcus, Kevin, Bob, Dark One, you guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.